Okay, so I'm gonna use the exploit, run that exploit. And it's found a shell, who am I? So I'm root to Hydra, I'm gonna specify the username MSF, and there we go, MSF admin's password is MSF admin. File transfer protocol is one of those protocols that every hacker needs to know about because of how widely it's used. FTP is a network protocol that by default runs on port 21. It is used for transferring files between servers and clients over TCP IP networks. It allows users to upload, download, rename, delete, and manage files remotely, supporting authentication and multiple other data transfer modes. There are two types of connections for connecting to an FTP server. In active FTP, the client connects to the server on the default port 21. The client then tells the server on which ports it would like to receive data, and then the server initiates a data connection to the client on the specified port. However, if the client is running a firewall that blocks incoming connections, this can cause issues. Passive FTP addresses this problem by changing how the data connection works. The client connects to the server on port 21, and then sends a passive command to the server. The server then responds with a port number that's been opened for the data connection. The client then initiates the data connection to the server on this port, thus avoiding the problems of having the firewall blocking incoming connections on the client side. Now you know what it is and the different types of FTP connections, but there's more than one type of FTP itself. FTP by default is unencrypted. All right guys, you'll probably find the following in use, FTPS. So this is a regular FTP service using TLS or SSL for encryptions. It runs on port 21 by default and then other dynamic ports for data, which make firewall configuration quite difficult, but it does support password and certificate-based authentication. Okay guys, the next FTP service we wanna talk about is something completely different, SFTP. So this isn't like the other ones because it is SSH with FTP functionality baked inside of it. It runs on default port 22 and all communications are encrypted via SSH. Sometimes the network admin is not after security at all. Sometimes they don't even want authentication. In this case, you might find Trivial File Transfer Protocol in use or TFTP. TFTP runs off UDP port 69 and because of the lack of security features, it is unlikely to be found outside of a protected internal network. It also doesn't allow for directory listing, which can make it difficult to find files on the server. As an ethical hacker, you probably want to know where the FTP file configurations are stored. If you ever get onto an FTP server, they could be found in these files. So the two configuration files we're going to focus on are the ftpusers.com file, which is for all the users that the FTP server either allows or denies access to, and then the specific FTP version file. So for instance, proftp.conf is for all the settings pertaining to the proftp server. You wanna take advantage of misconfigurations. This is what gives you access and could allow for privilege escalation. Here are some dangerous default configurations for a VS FTPD server. These can be found in the Etsy directory and the vsftpd.conf file. Dangerous configurations may differ slightly from version to version, however, they should should be similar in each case, usually having to do with anonymous access and writability. All right guys, so next up we have the demo where we will be showing you how to footprint an FTP service as well as exploiting a vulnerable FTP server. So this is strictly for educational purposes only. Please don't go around hacking FTP services you don't have permission to do so because if you do, you will find yourself in prison. They'll find themselves in prison with a snorkel duct tape to their mouth. So don't do that, and with that out of the way, let's dive right into the demo. Okay, so we need to run nmap to find out what services are running. So I'm gonna scan the whole subnet with the 24 subnet range. And that's gonna run, and we see that FTP is open on port 21 and a lot of other ports, but we're just gonna focus on FTP today. So I'm gonna copy that IP address. Okay, and now I'm gonna run nmap with an aggressive scan on port 21, so just to target FTP, and I'm just gonna type in the IP address now. Okay, I forgot an IP address, so I'm scrolling up to see it. Okay, cool, so FTP is open on port 21, and we can now see that FTP is running anonymous login, so let's try to check that out. 
Okay, so let's connect to the server using FTP. And now I'm going to input the anonymous as my username and no password. And as you can see, we logged in successfully. I'm now gonna list out the directory and we have passive mode running and the directory send is okay. Okay guys, so as you could see, we had anonymous login, but we didn't have any nice files on there. So let's try and exploit this server version. So I just typed it into Google and now I can see, as you can see, there's a Metasploit module for that. So let's use that. I'm just gonna copy that down there, backdoor, cool. And now I'm gonna open up MSF console. So let that run. So it's just opening up now. Cool, nice little clip art there. Okay, so I'm gonna use the exploit as you can see there and I'm gonna show options. So it just needs an R host, which is basically the IP address that's running the vulnerable FTP server. Cool, so I'm just copying that and then just gonna change the IP there. Awesome, and now let's run that exploit. And it's found a shell. Let's get some execution. Cool, so the command shell is now opened. Let me run, who am I? So I'm root, so I'm the highest user on the Linux machine. And the print working directory shows me I'm in the root. And let me spawn a bin bash shell quickly for better functionality. Cool, so I'm the root at the Metasploitable Linux machine. And now let me cut out the Etsy shadow file where all the users are. So as you can see, we are root and we have the highest privilege. Okay, let's see how a brute force attack works. We're gonna use the tool Hydra. I'm gonna specify the username MSF admin and the password list I'm gonna use is just one I generated quickly to show you guys this demo. Then I'm turning verbosity on and specifying the IP address as well as telling Hydra it's an FTP service. Cool, so now it's just warming up. Hydra is gonna start smashing those passwords against the FTP server shortly. Cool, so here we go. It starts with a password one, two, three, four, five, six. And as you can see, it's keeping the username MSF admin and specifying different passwords. So we are four out of six now in the file. And there you see, please subscribe. So you guys should probably follow that. And there we go, MSF admin's password is MSF admin. Thank you for getting to this point in the video, guys. So we have covered what FTP is, the dangerous configurations, the different types of versions, and how to exploit it a bit. So we are going to bring out a series on services. Let us know what you think in the comments. And please like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.